What's your name? Hi, I'm Phil. Sorry. I was abused by this system from the from day one. I was raised in care and there I stayed to the age of 19, 20, officially released at the age of 24. I was put in care due to the um, sexual abuse that I suffered as a child. Social services knew of it all. I have paperwork upon paperwork, evidence of evidence against social services, the Metropolitan Police and the courts of Uxbridge. I have suffered due to miscarriages of justice, failures of the Metropolitan Police, well the police in general, and my own government. I was, as I said, I was punched in the face by a foster parent. I was told to lie. They did nothing about it. That foster parent went on to sexually abuse another child in another county. From then on, I had nothing really much to think about. I had three children, Maisie, Ellis, Megan. I'm not allowed to use any other names. My ex, the mother of those three children, lied to social services, the police and the courts. She admitted assaulting myself, biting me, punching me, I had kick marks and I even had to defend my son in a way so his head didn't hit a door. Now, no evidence <clears throat> I gave was listened to. In fact, I was dismissed. Miss Good, uh, sorry, Lydia Good was found to be a liar. She wasn't arrested, she wasn't charged, she was allowed to walk free from court that very day. Years went past, a year went past, I met a girl called Olivia. We were happy. We started to have a family, she fell pregnant. Social services instantly bombarded us, I have evidence with this, to try and remove our child. They removed Abigail after we went on the run for three days on the run from social services to protect our child. Her mother grasped us up, Alison, she grasped us up to uh, the police and social services we had to hand ourselves in. They removed the child and put uh, Abigail straight into, fo into a foster placement. She was reunited with her mother after that, that three days and put into a residential assessment centre to assess how well a parent she is. I was constantly phoning and trying to protect my then wife and child from further abuse of professionals. These professionals have lied to and about me and when these professionals go and lie to the Crown it's a treasonable act. Social services have called me some disgusting things in my life. They've even said that I'm incapable of parenting a child because I was sexually abused, telling me I'm going to sexually abuse. That's a false allegation. I have mental health report upon mental health report upon mental health report disclaiming their claim. I have a £2.2 million case against social services just for what happened to me as a baby. They knew I was raped, they knew I was punched, they knew I was beaten, yet they sent me back to these people for this abuse to continue. Today, I've been to every court in London to have DS Andrew Grant sacked. Judge Wright sacked at Uxbridge Court, they're liars. No judge can tell you they're going to have or order medical treatment to you. They're not allowed to do that. That's misfeasance of a public office. She even told me I would be going home after sentence. She then reminded me. Twice is misfeasance of a public office. Bye bye judge. DS Andrew Grant lied to me by telling me he was not going to arrest me, he was going to arrest my ex-wife for kidnap, manipulating the police. He arrested me for harassment and all of those texts I still have on my phone 
with the solicitors I'm suing social services with and a recording of the police telling me a woman can't rape or sexually assault a man. Only a woman, only a man can sexually assault a woman. That's false. There's scientific evidence to suggest otherwise also. Because I wouldn't adhere to her sexual demands and promiscuous lifestyle, she kept having affairs. Darren Ellis of Social Services, Uxbridge, told Olivia not to remove my child due to, from my care due to her promiscuous lifestyle and lifestyle uh, of choice, which I could not allow happening with a child. We split up, she came back. She apologised for all of her affairs. But what she didn't tell me was she gave me an STI, which is, again is another criminal act. STD. If you, are, if you are told not to remove a child from somebody's care, regardless of who you are, you've kidnapped that child. So the law, we can prove, only works one way. It works for them. I've had mental health assessment upon mental health assessment where I suffer a personality disorder of which everybody united in the world will suffer a personality disorder. A personality disorder consists of things that have happened to you that have built your personality. So I'm angry towards the courts, the police, and social services, all attributed to this personality disorder. They say that I am paranoid. They say that uh, I can't work with these people. Why can I not work with these people? The evidence is there in itself. They've lied to and about me. The police false arresting me. The police are in fact domestic terrorists as are the parliaments. How can you have paedophiles working in a parliament? So if the law only works one way, I revoke all of my rights to any government. Due to the human rights, you have violated grossly of my own person and millions of people across the land. I urge everybody, if you have been dealt with and mistreated by any court, any judge or police officer, stand up. I will fight for you. Stand with me, keep quiet, I will make the noise for you. My heart, my mind, my soul, conscience is clear. Please help me to help you.